What is that? is the most common response when people see the float truck for the first time. The what is what's called a float truck, a truck modified to help move float planes around on the surface of the airport. Some float planes don't have their own wheels and thus can't move on their own off the water's surface. In order to use the float truck, you have to get the airplane out of the water. We do this by using a ramp. The trick is to hit it just hard enough to get the floats stuck on the wood so that the float truck can get underneath it. Hit it too hard, you can damage the floats. Not hard enough, and while you're going to get the float truck, the airplane might float away back into the water. Next, you position the float truck so that you can drive the lifting rails in between the floats and underneath the spreader bars. You have to make sure not to hit the floats with the lifting rails on the float truck because the floats are aluminum and the lifting rails are steel and the floats are going to lose that fight every single time. Once in position, the hydraulic motor on the lift truck lifts the lifting rails and the airplane about six inches off the ground, just enough clearance to move it around without it striking anything. The float truck then backs up the ramp, pulling the float plane out of the water. You need to turn it around because the rest of the way it'll be driving forward with the float plane out in front of it. At controlled airports, like Renton Municipal, you'll need to contact ground control and get clearance to reposition the aircraft before you use the taxiways. I don't know who first modified a float truck like this, or who currently does any conversions, but at airports with seaplane operations, you will see them around. In this video, if you look closely, you can see four examples of float trucks. Once you get the float plane back to its parking spot, you simply lower the lifting rails so that the floats are back on the ground, and then carefully back the float truck up so that the lifting rails come out from underneath the float plane. Then you simply have to park the float truck, and you're all done. Thank you for watching my video about the unsung hero of float plane operations, the amazing float truck.